Okay, thank you, Bhaiya, for giving me the floor. Um, yes, uh, when I joined the meeting and Tasnia, she said about the marking system of yeah. our uh, yes, and 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 I am one of the <clears throat> one of the stakeholders. That means I am now teacher. And what happens during COVID nineteen? Uh, COVID nineteen, and we were in stuck in the, at home. And I did a course of three months under an American university. And there also I got 98% mark, which is unthinkable in our context. And I get 2% less mark because I didn't submit the assignment in due time. That's the, that was my punishment. Otherwise I would get 100 marks. So what happened? And I learned a good thing from there a teacher that they read each and every word of your writing and they will comment on your writing. That is very interesting. And I, if they can't, they will take time. Uh, one of my, uh, sorry, there was one mentor. She's, uh, she was making delay and she sent me an email that dear Ishtiak, I am uh, sick and that's why I couldn't evaluate your assignment. So this is very important. This kind of habit, I do not have cultured in my uh, teaching profession. Second thing is that uh, they will give you a rubrics. These are the points. If you touch them, and if you can cor correctly put uh, them in, then you will get go good marks. And I touched all the things mentioned in the rubrics and I got full marks. So I think we the teachers should point out the rubrics and point out the, the necessary things to the students and so that they can touch all these things. Like um, we can, if, if, uh, if I ask any student to write about uh, the present, um, uh, what a uh, dengue situation in Bangladesh, if I, uh, just uh, put, uh, give them some points that what are the symptoms of dengue, what are uh, the case study of dengue, what is, uh, how, how can we prevent it, give three uh, ways. This kind of rubrics, if I give them, and if they can touch all these three things, I have to give them full marks. This is my responsibility. So I think we, the teachers, should give them a rubrics or a outline that yes, these are the things. If you can incorporate your ideas in such a way, then you will get good marks. But you have, yes, you, are, you, you rightly said, we never uh, got full marks in, either in literature or any writing, freehand writing. But uh, these things should be changed. And I, am, I being a teacher, uh, is taking the responsibility. And uh, I sh um, what I have learned from this, that course from American University, I'm trying to apply those things being a teacher. Thank you, Hea. <clears throat> so uh, I was, uh, um, can I uh, mention you by saying, sir? Of course, no, 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 you can call me Bhaiya. I mean, okay. Bhaiya is Bhaiya and I am nothing else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So I was uh, talking to Amin Bhaiya about the, um, uh, about the culture of memorization in our right education system that we sometimes right. uh, students mostly um, remember things from internet or books and they are just simply put in the put them down in their exam papers right, right. so it was not about getting full marks actually the students are doing it to many uh, i mean get the full marks but right. uh, I, I was uh, my point was that uh, teachers and the uh, system should be uh, changed towards the creativity of student a student right. might not memorize a certain topic or but he can she or he can simply create or analysis the novel or a drama from a different perspective mm, right. that might not uh, oh, always uh, i mean uh, uh, similar to the other students who are memorizing right. Right. because right. Uh, the thing is we actually uh, as you mentioned that the feedback is very important whenever a student right. gets feedback that, that you need to improve this part of your writing you need to improve right, your right. grammar or you need to improve uh, 
<clears throat> perspective of analyzing a story. So right. I think it is more important to rather judge a student by a, simply what he have written or um, put it down on the uh, answer script. And I think uh, feedback is something that helps students to understand wh wh on wh which part they are weak and uh, strong yeah. making or yeah we can develop yeah. ourselves by right. doing this so i was talking about right. this because i wanted to know what i'm i mean what things about the this system of education yes you're, you're right to say it. and what i found that the students who memorize uh the students who memorize they uh uh they get full marks, they get uh, uh, good marks. This is very true. But what happened in some cases, some students that they, they don't even have any subject knowledge. Say for example, one of my students, I uh, asked in my question for half yearly exam to write about a paragraph on school magazine. One of the students uh, wrote, I have never seen a school magazine. That's why I can't write anything about school magazine. That's it. He, yeah. was he, yeah, was, very, he was very, very true. Very true. Yeah, but I, I have nothing to do without giving her uh, a zero because it's my system, education system, right? Right. So it, it was uh, my responsibility or others, uh, other teachers' responsibility to show a school magazine to all the students. Uh, what and, it looks uh, like. Yeah, what, what the school magazine is. Then we can uh, give them them uh, in the in the exam paper, but. It was in our syllabus. That's why I have I had to make a uh, question. So so that, this is happening in our country. So though she was she she was true, but I have I had nothing to do without giving her zero. So another thing is um, some students they try to make their own writing, uh, but uh, what uh, I got they their language is so poor that is not a big problem, but their grammar the construction of sentence is not correct. So that's that's why I sometimes say, okay, you have to read first. Whenever you read more and more writings, then you will have an structure of uh, uh, the idea of structure of the sentences. We subconsciously right. actually get how a sentence is structured. I right, never memorized right, a exactly. single gram grammatical rule in my entire life. Right, Though right. I, I not... get to memorize some sometimes. Yes, yes, yes. And I, I, I did not either, I did not either. When, when I was an university student, I had to do some tuitions. Then I started learning grammar because uh, I had to teach the students grammar. But when I was a student, you know, about communicative English, that's, I didn't have any gr uh, grammatical item in my entire school life. Uh, in, um, uh, from class six to uh, 12, uh, I had a communicative English. I didn't even uh, 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 study any grammar. One of my teachers, he was very uh, brilliant and he tried us to uh, teach uh, narration in our class you know, when I was in school. But we thought, oh, narration will not come in the exam. We, will, we won't learn it. We were making some noises in the class. So now I am uh, repenting. Oh, sorry. my teacher was great. Though it was not in the syllabus, he was trying to teach us. Uh, uh, but when I was, uh, I was, I became a teacher, tuition teacher. Then I started learning uh, grammar. So that's the thing. And uh, so I always encourage the student, if you don't memorize anything, it's okay. But you have to read more and more. No greatest writer, no great writer uh, uh, was born without reading. If you talk about Nozrul Islam, Kadi Nozrul and Rabindranath Tagore, they were not academically sound people, but they read thousands of books in their entire life. So without reading, no one can produce anything it's because they are receptive skills, then they can produce something. So we, we need to encourage students to read more and more from books or newspapers or from any other uh, sources, then they will the, the grammar will be uh, internalized developed. in their mind, automatically mm -hmm. developed, right? They, so uh, some students in our con in our country, the context is they never read anything. They they said, oh, we'll we will make our own paragraph. 
and when they can't write anything or they write bullshit they expect oh i had not i have i didn't memorize that's why teacher didn't give me any marks but that's not not the real thing all the time because you have to have in the subject because if i give you uh, to write about uh, school magazine you can write about um, entertainment magazine or sports magazine so you have to be in the periphery so this is a thing and another important thing is that whenever they don't read and when they don't read anything their vocabulary or word selection becomes so poor they repeat the same word same again words. again same and again same word sentence. same stress same sentence i want to give you an example of my half yearly exam and uh, i uh, the, i give give them the paragraph of school magazine she she wrote school magazine is important school magazine is very important school magazine is important for us and these three lines she wrote three times that was uh, that means line nine lines so she expected mark some marks from me but i i had nothing to do to give uh, and i gave her only three marks because she wrote the three lines three times so i can reward her uh, once for a sentence so there's the thing so i think the student uh, we don't even i have don't i didn't have any reading habit in my entire um, university life uh, i whenever i got some thick uh, some fat books i never touched them whenever i got some thin chikna chikna boy then i completed them on a single sitting so that's yeah. the thing uh, uh, so uh, i think we are very lazy reader but uh, I, i i found that i saw that uh, people Jap- even japanese they are voracious readers they read and read read and they read even, even read in uh, during the journey of the, train the metro rail yeah. metro rail the yeah, yeah metro rail standing on a metro rail i, I saw that i saw some so many videos so there's a king we'll, we'll yeah. give uh, tasnia to wind up we we are running out of time uh, tasnia okay you give a final uh, whatever you want to say summary summarizing okay. what you learned from mr ishtiag the teacher okay go ahead yeah i have uh, learned many things that i had actually a kind of little wrong perception about marking since i never uh, eg- i i was never an examiner of any any of uh, the exam script so uh, ishtiak bhaiya he himself is a teacher he can say better how student perform during exam or how what they have they write in their scripts so i think the point he have pointed out one thing that reading that is very important we are not um, always encouraged to read the books outside of our academics book except our academics academic books so students are academic books can sometimes be very much boring for the students but if they actually practice the thing of uh, the practice reading more and more uh, i personally felt the that thing whenever i was in school i was in school or college i always run short of out of my vocabulary i sometimes uh, during the middle of the exam i sometimes for, forgot a uh, word and cannot find the synonymous word word of it so i i personally experience the problem so i think it is very important for students to what should i say okay that's practicing, good thank you very much i think tasnia uh, you will uh, do well in future don't worry about uh, not getting uh, the 100% marks uh, but in future you are you are uh, quite fluent in english and if you yeah, continue yeah. this class, this session at the session i think you improve further and your brain will also open up you'll be able to talk about yeah, okay, different yeah. topics and different subjects for different groups of people and you'll do wonderful at interviews because you can think by yourself you're not picking up things from the uh, uh, what you have memorized you can think yourself and at the spur of the moment you can say what comes in your mind at that time okay so thank you very much i'm 
putting it up and it'll go on uh, uh, YouTube. So you'll see okay, yourself. Yeah. And you once it is on the YouTube, you tell your friends to uh, about it and they can view it. Okay. The more views okay. you have, it's, it, it writes over there. Okay. 100 people, 200 people. There's one, uh, one uh, video which has been viewed by about uh, some thousands, thousands of people. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Bye. Thank you.